What's up guys, Michaela Vernava alongside Zach Cox at Gillette Stadium where we have just seen Mike Nugent, the new Patriots kicker out on the practice fields with the Patriots today. Nugent played three games for the Raiders last season, made three out of three attempts. What's your confidence level and what this guy will be able to do for the Pats? Well, I'd say he's probably the, the best option of the options that they had, which I mean, admittedly, we're not that great considering we're already a month into the season and enough teams struggle as it is to find quality kickers. Uh, Patriots brought six or seven guys in here over the last two days, worked out a bunch of them. Nugent is, he's 37, he's been around the league for a long time. The Patriots are his, his ninth NFL team, hasn't kicked in a game since last September because he, uh, you mentioned he only played three games last year, suffered, I believe it was a hip injury, landed on injured reserve, wasn't with a team this preseason, this summer. So he's been out of the game for a little while, but this is a guy who's done it for a long time. He's, he's had success in the league over a long time. And like I said, he's probably the, the best of a not so great crop of options. But I think a lot of Patriots fans are going to realize how good they had it with Steven Gostowski for a while, because even though Gostowski was not great this season with uh, missing a couple extra points in his last couple games, he was one of the most reliable kickers in the NFL really over the last 15 years. So Patriot, I think they could be in for a, a bit of a rude awakening here if, if Mike Nugent uh, can't really step up as soon as he comes in here. Certainly. And on a positive note for the Patriots offense, tight end Ben Watson back out on the practice field after being suspended for the first four weeks of the season. How much do you expect him to be involved in this upcoming game this weekend? We'll, we'll have to wait and see. He's not officially on the roster yet. The Patriots have a roster exemption for him, so they don't need to activate him and make a corresponding roster move until Saturday. We're expecting that to happen, as, uh, assuming he's healthy enough to play. He wasn't actually out at practice yesterday, so still not sure what the deal is with that. But assuming he is activated, I do expect him to play a lot. I do expect him maybe even to just come right in and be the Patriots' starting tight end in this game against the Redskins this weekend because the Patriots really haven't gotten that much from the tight end position so far this season. Matt Lacoste has been hurt. He's really only been a full go for, for one of the Patriots' first four games. And Ryan Izzo has been okay. He's had his moments, but he's really struggled as a run blocker. And I think that's an area where Ben Watson can help, and I think he probably can help a bit in the passing game as well, just given the experience he has with Tom Brady. Only four catches through, through four games for the Patriots' tight ends this year, so they're probably hoping he can boost that group a little bit here. Yeah, especially after we, what we saw from the Patriots' offense last week. So we will see. Keep it on Nesson.com for all your Patriots news.